Hi, welcome to How to Make a Healthy Human Person. I'm your host. And today we're making, get this, a human. We'll start off with half a tablespoon of exercise. Now there are YouTube tutorials for making exercise from home, but you can also buy exercise from your local gymnasium or sports teams. As you can see, I've already let that sit for an hour, but depending on your health and how hard you exercise, you may need it to sit a little more or a little less. Then, we add a few servings each of vegetables, fruits, grains, protein, and dairy. The amount of food you want to add depends on your type of human, but this is a good starting place. Then you want to slowly, over the course of a day, pour in about 11.5 or 15.5 cups of water. This prevents organ failure and sudden collapse, and is generally a good idea. Then you want to add neurotransmitters. These are responsible for a lot of your human's emotions and feelings. While most humans make their own neurotransmitters right at home, others can't or make too many of the wrong neurotransmitters. This isn't your fault and nothing is inherently wrong with you. It's like having asthma, diabetes, or allergies. Just remember, if you can't make your own neurotransmitters, Sorbot is fine with the approval of your doctor. After that, you will want to add other humans. This is our most expensive ingredient because not only does it cost a few hours of yours, but also a few of a friend. Even if you don't know anyone in person who's willing to spend a few hours of their time with your human, talking over the internet, safely, is better than talking alone with yourself. Our final ingredient is sleep. While many people substitute caffeine instead, this isn't a good idea if you can help it. It does cost a few hours, but sleep, for now, is the healthier option. Even if you have 20 minutes before you need to wake up and you can't possibly fall asleep in that amount of time, just relaxing and closing your eyes is better than doing nothing at all. You can add some other ingredients to your person. Like, I like to add a few hobbies. I understand some people might not want to because they're a bit expensive in time and ability, but I highly recommend you try them just once. Some people like to add chemicals or artificial ingredients. Unless you're prescribed or advised these, I don't recommend them. After you've combined all your ingredients, you're going to want to let your human sit for a few hours to relax and wind down. Make sure to add a wash to your human every day, or at least every other day, and then bake at around 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Be sure not to change your human's temperature too rapidly, or they could get sick or injured. Be careful not to raise your human's temperature too high or too low. If you have any other questions or concerns, or if you followed all the advice you could find, and your human still didn't turn out happy and healthy, Talk to your guidance counselor, doctor, or reach out to someone at your local mental health organization. That's a wrap for today. Good luck in your adventures, and don't forget to try new things.